right guys, so many of you have been asking, here's your chance. This is the official truck tour of Dakota, our six door F-350 Dually that we use as a full time RV family of seven to travel all around the country. Let's take a look. All right guys, Dakota is based off of a 2015, 2016 F-350 Dually. It's built by King Series Trucks out of South Dakota. We contacted King Series in early 2020 about our desire and need for a bigger truck to haul our family when we upgraded to a fifth wheel. This is the result of about 12 months worth of planning and hard work on their part and our dreaming to get to this truck. One of the cool things about building a truck with King Series is they customize everything. They take it down to the frame, from the frame up, we get to pick it out. It's like building a custom house, we just built a custom truck. Come take a look at the front. We'll show you all the details we picked out. Let's start with the bumpers. These are King Series custom bumpers. They designed them, they put them together. You'll only find them on their trucks. These have X-Vision lighting in the middle. Awesome design layout, very rugged, very durable. Love the look that it gives the whole front end of the truck. We've also got a custom grill coloration we got to pick out all the different nuances of this custom grill you won't find another one like this anywhere in the country fronts highlighted by morimoto lights these lights are super bright they give it a great clean look throughout the whole front of the truck so on our truck we did 20 inch fuel rims with 35 inch tires these are the falcon wild peak ats gives a little bit of lift but we also did a custom two and a half inch lift on the truck just to give it a little more height since it's stretched out so long. Everybody's always asking, what color white is this? This is Ford's Platinum Tri-Coat White. Comes on all their Ford Platinum trucks. We also did a window tent. It's a 20% tent on all three windows on each side. Another thing we did was add a full length running board. Runs the length of all three doors, so it's easy getting in and out, even for us old guys or the little kids. We also took the mirror and we smoked out all of the lights on the truck, including this blinker mirror on the side. King Series also does a custom mud flap on the front and rear wheels. So one cool thing that King Series does on all of their trucks is they add a product called Lizard Skin. So when they take the cab off, the doors off, inside each door and in the cab, they add a product called Lizard Skin. Think of it like a spray-in foam. What it does is it insulates the truck both from heat, cool, loss of heat and cool, and also noise. You can hear the difference. Lizard skin is on the door and is not up here. Take a listen to this. Makes a huge difference when you're going down the road. Completely eliminates road noise. So underneath, we've got a 200 PSI air compressor, six gallon air tank. So I can hook a hose in that air tank air up any tires, inflatables, anything I need to. We also added traction bars on this truck. Always prevents wheel hop, anything like that, especially when you're carrying a heavy load. Underneath, you can also see a Klein train horn. When you're pulling a truck this big with a load that big behind us, you gotta get people's attention if you need to. One of the great things about a Ford truck, old man step. So in the back, we started with the base with a bullet liner bed liner sprayed throughout the whole bed of the truck. We also add a tonneau cover that rolls up. You can see it here. We roll it all the way back and it's aluminum frame tonneau cover so it locks down, keeps everything inside safe. We did put a B&W companion hitch in for our fifth wheel. We also added a toolbox. As full-time RVers, we carry all kinds of crazy tools. So you gotta have a toolbox in the back. We got Vision X lights, three going down each side that light up this thing so bright. We also added in the back part of each end of the bed, 110 outlets, so we can plug up whatever we need to, which are tied up to our 1200 watt inverter in the cab. So in front of the toolbox, we've got a 50 gallon transfer flow auxiliary tank. We had this tank sprayed with the same bullet liner that we have in the bed, so that one, it matches and all looks really good, but it's also super durable and protects this tank. So the 50 gallon transfer flow auxiliary tank is tied in with our main tank. What we did on this truck is we took the 38 gallon main tank out, replaced it with a 65 gallon Titan, and those two are controlled with the transfer flow fuel system that we control in the cab. So when you're traveling to remote places, one of the things you need is a cell phone booster. This is a WeBoost cell phone booster with the RV and truck antenna. 
Coming across here, we added the fifth wheel backup camera. So in the cab, we can toggle between the two different backup cameras so I can see straight back here when I'm trying to hook up the fifth wheel. On the roof, this is a really cool feature. We covered the roof in bullet liner, just like we have in the bed of the truck. Covered in a clear coat, so it's not gonna mat out, dry out, anything like that. On top of that, we added this roof track system so we can add on different roof mounts as we need to. What we've chosen to do for now is put these Rhino Rack crossbars. We've got three of them going the length, and we've got four different bike racks. We can load all of our bikes up here. You're probably picking up a theme when it comes to lights on this truck. The front lights are smoked out. The rear lights are smoked out. Our mirror lights are smoked out. We also smoked out our roof lights and our dually lights. When I say you customize everything, you can even customize your decals. So the inside starts, everything in here was custom picked. Color of the carpet on the floor, whole dash color system. Even the bezels and switches were hydro dipped to our customization. These are brand new seats too. These are cat skin leather seats. They're super comfortable. So great for long rides. We also added a jump seat in the front. Instead of a big center console, we've got a little storage here and then you can flip this up, have a ninth seat in the truck. One other cool feature of these front seats they're heated and cooled. We also have massaging seats. So with a truck this big, one AC system isn't sufficient. So we added a second AC system in the back seat, which you control right up here. We also added two DVD players for the kids. Each row has a separate DVD player. These are 14 inch DVD player screens. They can be played separate or parallel. Everybody wants to know, do we have assigned seats? And we do. Here's mama, here's daddy. Here's Chapel, Jude, and Finley. And then here's Solomon, and that's Sumner. 